And one of the things that we took very seriously was the work that, um, that was done nationally, really, by the NCCM and others to, uh, to put together an action plan uh, and to, to try to take that horrifying act of terrorism that happened in London and turn it into something that, that would uh, have some real results. Uh, and so we were, we were proud to work with the NCCM, particularly in, uh, in translating the actions that they identified into legislation. Uh, it's called the Our London Family Act. And we brought it forward to the legislature to, um, to try to get the, the government of the day to start implementing actions instead of just talk. Because that's what we've heard for a long time is that you know, the talk isn't good enough, we need, we need action. So that, that particular piece of legislation includes a number of things around, uh, around um, the education system, uh, around um, safety zones for places of worship, uh, it, it, it tries to attack, tackle Islamophobia and other kinds of uh, racist hate for, against other groups uh, in, a, in, a, in a proactive way, including things like uh, making sure that uh, identified hate groups are not able to register as charities or as uh, not-for-profits here in, in our province, uh, race-based data being collected and being accountable for, uh, for you know, not only the justice system, but the education system, the healthcare system, all of those pieces. Uh, and, and so we are, we've made the commitment that we will go forward with the Our London Family Act. We'll also make sure that we're properly funding our um, what, what's currently called the Anti-Racism Directorate. Uh, but uh, we, we want to change that into a, a secretariat where there's a minister responsible and where there's, a, a, where there's more um, focus on, on proaction, like proactivity, and not simply uh, reactivity when it comes to uh, hate crimes, but particularly uh, around Islamophobia. But the, the other thing is that we, we always want to be informed by community. Uh, and so having an advisory council that's, uh, that's made up of community voices, community members, always, uh, you know, always uh, advising uh, the work that we're doing is, is extremely important.